Well, guys, more than a few of you have been surfing around the Multipick site and, uh, and hit on this thing and sent me some emails asking for a review. This is the QA Pro 2. I think it stands for Quick Access. Let me just go ahead and lay this guy down here and get the camera adjusted so we can take a look at what's in here. I know it kind of looks like Thor's hammer there, but <laughs> that really looks like Thor's hammer. Beautiful, shiny, my sole criteria for success, right? Anyway, we have the tool itself. This is designed, and I think this is what attracted a lot of you, for emergency services, like to get into a house very quickly, like police or fire department. There's an emergency, and you just have to get in there. I will tell you that it will cause slight damage to the door or even major damage to the door. But the trade-off is this thing can get you through the door in about 20 seconds with a little bit of practice driving the screw in and so forth. Um, anyway, here's what the tool looks like. You can see it's based on a fulcrum, a lever, and it has what looks like the chain from Arnold Schwarzenegger's bicycle. I mean, this is like 10 times normal size chain, very heavy duty. And when you lift this up, you can see that that dude slides. Let me slide him forward, hook him up in the sprocket, I guess. And then when you pry this thing back, you can see it will extract. You need something to go into there. And what we're going to use will be these guys, these new Viper chain extraction screws. Now, I bought these, and here's what happened. They used to only sell these in bags of 50, and they're about a buck a piece. So it got quite expensive. Whoever won that last prize that included these got like $150 worth of these screws. But anyway, after I complained, you complained, everybody complained to Multipick, and this is what they've come up with. And they call this the, the Viper Eco Pack, $10.80, not counting value added tax. You get 10 screws, and if I can move them around, you also get one of the little hardened Torx bits. I'm still using my first one. Those are very tough. These screws are really tough, too. And some of you asked about recycling them. Can you, you know, after you pull a core, can you use it again? And the answer is, yeah, I've done it. I've got one I've used seven times. Now, you know, the paint comes off, but still works great. So for those of us in Locksport or don't pull cores for a living, I think a bag of 10 will last you a very, very long time if you recycle. Anyway, they come in three sizes. As you see, 5.5, 4.8, all in millimeters, and then they also have one in 4.2, and I, I didn't buy one of those. Anyway, these fit right here in these slots, and we're going to get to that. The tool. When we use the tool, we extract, and one of two things will happen. We will either break the spine of the lock if it's not a hardened lock, less expensive, and the whole lock will just fall out. When that happens, you got this guy. Now, it looks like, I don't know, like Arnold Schwarzenegger's house key. And it it is a key, and this is designed to act as the actuator. So when the half of the lock falls out, you take this, you stick it in there, and you rotate this to move the bolt to open it up. Very cool. Uh, if some locks have different fittings, and there's different sizes on the end here as well for doorknobs, all kinds of different uh, adjustments. Okay, so we got that dude. We got the tool. Over here, we also have a box. You know, Germans got to be well organized. A neat little box for the little bits and bobs. Inside of here, we get... A very finely machined, and if you look closely at that, you can see another one of those torques down inside of there. Very finely machined. Fits right in your tool. I don't know why they give you the tip, so why would you go to all this trouble? But if you have to have one of these, I mean, it's super heavy. You got it. Um, there's also a pair of the jaws. We got two of them. We have one you can see with the cutout for the Euro lock. And if you don't happen to live in Europe, I live in North America, this is probably the one I would want. And this would either, again, break the spine, rip the lock out of the door, or pull the core, extract the core, and allow me to put a screwdriver in there and open up the door. Three different options, one different adap one adapter. All right, and then inside of here also, another set of jaws. This comes with these, and these are not plastic. These are machined aluminum, I can't imagine ever damaging these because the only thing these touch are those adapter plates. They fit up against it like that. So when we're pulling, we're actually pulling against the lock, not against the door or the hardware. But yeah, if you damage these, you have another set of jaws. I, again, I don't know why, but you got them. Um, and lastly, uh, usually what I do, I use the tip that comes inside of these bags to, dr to drive the screw in. And then sometimes it doesn't go in quite far enough. I'll use this little Weha, very high quality German tool, of course, to give it that extra half turn to really make sure that that screw is buried inside of that core. Anyway, uh, all of this sells for $291, or if you are unfortunate and you have to pay the VAT tax, 
it's uh, $337 for everything you see, minus these bags of screws. Let's find out if this thing works, though. All right, I got this little CES dimple lock installed. It normally wouldn't be sticking out this far. It doesn't really matter for this tool, but I just didn't have the correct uh, cylinder size. But you'll see it doesn't matter in just a moment. Uh, I'm also not going to pre-drill this. I'm just going to take the largest one, which is the, I think it's a 5.5 millimeter. It is self-threading, so I'm not pre-drilling any holes. Just going to kind of get it centered and drive this dude in there. That ought to be good enough. All right, I'm going to take our tool and our plate. Now remember, this is the one for the Euro style cylinder, like this. Just kind of hang them right up there, and that will, you notice this fits around the lock body, and there's a distance between it and the face plate. Um, what will happen when we put our tool on there and start prying, it will put pressure on this plate, which then transfers to that lock body, not to the face of our, like I said, well-used test jig. So let's take this and just slide them on there and adjust this. Let me get this down like so, so that we're not prying directly down. So let me back up a little bit so you can see the angle here. And now one of two things will happen at this point. When I press down on this handle, we will either pull out the core, in which case we'll take a screwdriver, turn the actuator, or if it's a weaker, less expensive lock, it might even break the spine of lock and pull the whole cylinder half out. Either way, you're going to be in very quickly. Let me go ahead and press down. And in this case, we ended up snapping the cylinder, as you see there. The actuator popped out right, let me grab a pair of pliers, right here. He's hanging out there. And in this case, I think we did some damage to the door. But remember, this is a tool designed for emergency entry. And so you're trading speed for damage to the door. Once we've got that, all we've got to do is take the key, slide them in there, and then turn our actuator and get the door open. So very cool tool, very fast tool. All right, guys, I think you'll agree this is a perfect tool for emergency services, fire, police department, anybody that needs to get through a door quickly, perhaps to save a life or first aid, something like that. This thing really does work well. It does do a little bit of damage to the door. So for a regular locksmith, it'd be a little hesitant to use it unless the customer's saying, get me in there like right now and I don't care what it costs. Then, yeah, pop it out crack you're in in 20 seconds. I took more than 20 because I was doing the show and tell thing, but I think with a little practice, 20 seconds, possibly even less if you got a buddy that'll drive the screw into the core for you and hold everything still so you don't drop it. Anyway, there you go. The QA Pro 2 kit, $291 from Multipick, $337 if you got to pay the VAT. I'm sorry about that, guys. Anyway, guys, if you, this is the giveaway this week. Everything you see to include the two eco packs of the Viper screws. If you want to know how to register for free to win this thing, stick around. I'll tell you how to do it. Thanks, guys. All you need to do is navigate to locklab.com, the tribal website, and scroll down in the middle of the page. You'll see all the giveaway buttons Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. But the one you're looking for is the weekend review giveaway purple band. Just click on it. It'll take you to the registration page. Again, scroll to the bottom. Put in a good email address. So if you win, I can get in touch with you, let you know. Put in a username, doesn't matter what it is, and click Submit. When you're done, you'll get a green check mark confirming your entry. Thanks, guys.